Venga, arriba, arriba, arriba. Vamos, eh, vamos. Venga, atención al cuerpo, Pepe. Vamos, tío, vamos, Pepe. Strong, strong. So we just made it to Albarracin. Uh, this week we were meant to go to the Lake District, but it was pissing it down every single day. So we had to take a last minute decision and we end up in here. Not too bad. Yeah, I have a few blocks on my wish list from like two years ago, because I was meant to come in 2020 but then uh, shit hit the fan uh, so I made it out we made it here and yeah we're gonna start with some classics of the area on the first day of the trip we landed in Cabrerizo an area that is home to the block Techo Don Pepo which is a 7a mega classic as much as I wanted to get on it as soon as we set up the pads I chose to warm up thoroughly and watch my friends and other people climb it for a while so that I could learn as much as possible about the problem to give it the best flash burn I could. It climbs on rather big holes and is definitely easier for the tall. The crux of it is arguably holding the swing when getting to the holes past the lip. Although depending on how you climb it, you might avoid cutting loose and you might find a different section of the block more difficult. The top out can also be tricky, especially if you're not good at them. I would not say it's a particularly hard one, but it can definitely make your life difficult if you start messing around. It's a little cream. Just above you. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yeah. I was so so happy for having flashed this block as it was on the top 5 list of problems I wanted to do during this trip. Next stop was the Don Pepo Traverse that also goes at 7A. This one is a rather long problem but on good holes as well. Quite sequence dependent and pumpy if you don't climb fast enough. Desperation. Uh -huh. You get that one. 
I gotta eat this mushroom and yeah. send it next time. You see that? Eat it! For me, it did feel a tad softer than the previous problem, as it doesn't have a particular crack, but a long sequence of intermediate moves instead. After the traverse, I tried a variation of Techo Don Pepo that goes through the left side of the roof and climbs around 7B or 7C depending on which guide you check. This of course felt way harder than the previous blocks and although it felt somehow possible, I decided to give it a pass after a couple of tries and not rinse myself for the rest of the day. As I had never been to Albarracín before, I wanted to try as many different sevens as possible and the way I decided to do so was by setting myself a max of 5 attempts for every problem I got to try. The reason behind of this being that I did not want to get stuck anywhere, exhaust myself and stop exploring everything else. So if the problem felt out of my league or did not go in 5 tries, I would just move on to the next one. There are so, so many quality blocks in Albarracín if you've never been to get stuck in one single place. Anyhow, after having a bit of lunch, I dragged my friends to the other side of the route to try this cool looking problem called Saltimbanqui, which also climbs at 7A. Quite slopey and friction dependent, I thought. It almost reminded me of every other gridstone block. to point out that I don't know if I climbed this block correctly, as I reverse some of the moves at the end to wail my way up it. I hurt my left hamstring while climbing it, so I wasn't willing to try it again. It did feel somewhere around 7A anyway, so I was happy with that. After doing this block we moved to the parking area where we tried a few more climbs on the easier circuits. To finish off we tried Thruyo, a block near the car park which climbed much better than it looked and that really made me try as I dropped the last big move three times on the road.
first impressions of Albarracín were really, really good. I had never been to this part of Spain before, and all I can say is that it really lives up to its name. The first day of climbing was getting to its end, but we had three full days worth of climbing ahead of us, which were, spoiler alert, absolutely amazing. I will be publishing another three videos about our time in Albarracín over the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Please like the video and subscribe if you like to support my channel. See you guys soon.